everybody. Welcome to another edition of Greek Favorites and More with Nina in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making you an eggplant, sweet potato, and potato dish. Now this is not a Greek Favorites dish. It's definitely though and more. So let's get started with the ingredients. You're going to need a medium-sized eggplant, oops, sorry, chopped up in these little pieces. Um, sweet potato, your regular white potato, a little bit of red onion that you can see I've left in little slices like this. This is about a medium sized oven. Your Greek olive oil, your tomato sauce or tomato puree, whatever you use. Now normally I don't like to use canned. I use either jarred or a carton. It's like a little carton like that. Uh, some salt from pepper, garlic powder, curry, a little pinch of sugar, about a fistful of coriander or cilantro, depending on what part of the world you live in. People have different names for it. And then some fresh uh, cilantro or coriander that we're going to sprinkle on the top after we've baked it. Okay, great. So let's get started. And I'm going to move everything over to the stove so we can get this. Okay, so I brought everything over to the stove and um, I've set the heat to about medium, I would say. And uh, we're going to add in our olive oil. So let's put that in. Put in your olive oil. And we're going to add in now our onion. We're going to saute this for, I'd say, about five minutes. So, as you can hear that sizzle. So I'm going to leave, leave these all on the stove for about five minutes. And I'm going to also turn on my trusty timer so I don't forget about them. Okay, and I'll be so we sauteed our onions for about five minutes. You don't want them too dark because then they get bitter. So let me show you what they look like. Those are your sauteed onions. And now we're going to add in our eggplant. Now this is about a medium-sized eggplant. So we're going to add in our eggplant and we're going to also saute that for about another five minutes. Turn on our trusty timer. Give it a good stir. And we're going to saute this for about another five minutes. Okay, great. Let me put my timer on. So our timer went off, and uh, let me show you how the eggplant looks. There's your eggplant. And now we're going to add in the sweet potatoes and the potato. Put that in there. Give it a little bit of a stir. And we're going to let this brown for just a few minutes. It doesn't need a full five. You just want it to get a little bit of brown color on top of it. That's all. And we'll be right back. So we've sauteed our sweet potatoes and potatoes well. Let me show you how that looks right there. That's a shot. And the reason why we do this is because it gets them super soft. And now we're going to add in our spices. Salt and pepper. And I get the taste. Some people like a lot. Some people like a little bit. It just depends on how much you like. So you put your salt, your pepper, garlic powder. Now you can use fresh garlic for this, but I don't really care for fresh garlic, so I prefer to use powder. Put your garlic powder. That adds in a lot of flavor. Let's put all of it. And then we're also going to put a little bit of curry. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then also a couple pinches, a little bit of sugar. And that's going to caramelize everything and get it really nice. So we're going to give this a little bit of a stir. Add in our tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Add that in there. Mix it around a little bit. And now we're going to add in our hot boiled water. Remember, you need hot boiled water when you're cooking so you don't slow down your cooking process. We're going to add in our hot boiled water. You need just enough water to not really cover the top. You don't want your food swimming in water. Just so it's been simmering for about half an hour. Uh, my timer has gone off and we're going to see how it looks and how it smells as well. It's 
smells really yummy. And the vegetables are nice and soft. And at this time, we're going to just sprinkle in some fresh coriander to give it a little bit more flavor. And we're going to put it in the oven. And bake it just until it gets nice and gold and bubbly on top. You don't need it to cook too much because, as you can see, a lot of the liquid is already reduced. So you don't need to cook it that much. Just get it nice and bubbly on top. That's it. Let's put that in the oven. And we'll see how long it takes. It should be about maybe 10 minutes, not probably more than that. You just have to keep an eye on it and watch it. So I've been checking the uh, eggplants and sweet potatoes, and let's open the oven to see how they look. I think they're ready. Oh, yeah, they're ready. They're definitely ready. This is how they look once they've been put in the oven and just goldly, bubbly brown on top. So let's put them on a plate and see how they taste. Final product, and I like to eat mine with just a little bit of Greek yogurt. So let's taste it and see how it is. It looks good. It smells good. The vegetables are nice and soft and tender. Put a little bit of yogurt on there. See how it tastes. Mm. Mm. The cilantro or the coriander. Just give it a perfect touch. This is so delicious. Make it for your friends and family. Make it for yourself. Make it for the people that you love. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.